good morning everyone this is Anne and I'm from the sheepdog and the medium channel and this is what we're going to be using today the sacred forest oracle so sacred forest oracle let's go and see what spirit has for us today I'm going to put this little crystal down that's a rose quartz folks and if you know what rose quartz is about it's about love and direction so we're going to see these cards are just they are gorgeous gorgeous cards what i'm going to do is have spirit pick three and we're going to read from the book because it's oracle we let spirit tell us what these are about but if you see keywords on those cards that make sense to you that is what you want to listen to as well you have intuition just like this is one of them. You have intuition, maple spirit, generosity, just like everyone else. And you can certainly bring that into play when you see a tarot oracle reading and you know what that card means to you. That's the next one that they want is earth spirit stability. And then we're going to Look at the little fairy and the Earth Spirit Stability card. Isn't that cute? The last one is going to be this one, and that is Moonlight Enchantment, which is magic. So let's put that down, I'd say right about here. And I'm going to read from the book. First, we're going to look at the Maple Spirit Generosity card. And... Let's go to that page and see what maple spirit means. So beneath the large boughs of the maple tree, animals are invited to rest. At any time you might see a doe and her fawn curled in midday shade, squirrel scamper up the trunk and dash from limb to limb, and a rabbit stops to sniff the air. Creatures large and small are drawn to take refuge under the maple tree. What you give out comes back to you tenfold. There are times in life to receive. There are times in life to provide love, services, and items to others. This card suggests that this is a time to give with your whole heart. Give without thinking of what you will gain in return. By doing this, you enter into a flow in the universe of blessings that will shower upon you. Maples are thought to be very old and uh, they're, they withstand the environmental changes and survive and thrive through various climates. Some traditions believe that the maple lends strength and power to those around it. If you tap into the maple, you will find sweet sap, which symbolically brings sweetness into your life. So be open to the, receive the bounty from the universe and at this time be generous with others and with yourself. A warmth of spirit radiates from you, share from your heart and receive with an open heart and success will blossom. So as you see that maple spirit is all about giving and let's take a look at the next card to see what we are going to pair that with, which is Earth Spirit and Stability. Now, as you see, we have a little fairy there that's sitting under that tree. That might be something that Spirit's using to go from tree to tree. So let's take a look at this one. It says, in a lazy quietude of, warm summer af of a warm summer afternoon, you recline on a soft moss on the forest floor and listen to the heartbeat of the earth. Her rhythmic cadence surges up from the ground beneath you. With each beat, you remember who you are and what is truly important in life. The strengthening, grounding energy of earth is filling every part of you. It's time to take measure of your life and put your roots down. Assess who you are and where you are. Make plans for the future and don't act on those plans until you feel secure in stepping forward. This is a time for preparation and going deeper. This card can also indicate that you aren't grounded 
and that you need to create more stability in your life. Think things through before taking action. Take time to plan your future carefully. Don't rush into anything. Strength is growing within you. Security and protection surrounds you. You are safe. If you are thinking of making a secure financial investment and receive this card, it's telling you that this is a good time to do so. It's not a time to take risks. So Earth Spirit provides the trees, the plants, the flowers, the streams, oceans, mountains, valleys, all of this bounty. And she's stable and strong enough in her devotion to us. So you're supported and loved even when you're not always sure of it. The seeds that you plant now will bring abundance in the future, but only if you take time to nurture those beginnings. So be present in the moment, slow down, let go of the busyness and the frantic pace, and then just explore your roots, honor your past, go deep, reflect on your life. That's your earth spirit stability. Now, nevertheless, we have one more to pair that with, and then we're gonna talk about how those three cards relate. The Moonlight Enchanted Magic. Magic is calling us, and that says that a lingering howl of wolves weaves its way through the night air. The brightness of full moon bathes the entire forest with a silvery light. Fairies and elves and spirits of fauna and flora arise for a joyous night of celebration. The forest is alight with glee. So magic is all around you. The veil between the worlds is thin right now. Fairies, elves, and angels, and spirit bring, brings, are just the, they're just a thought of way. It is indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening doors to those realms is trust. All may not be as it seems. By a protective light of the moon, the magic of the universe surrounds you. Even though it's dark, the light of the moon shows you the way, reminding that you must trust what you feel. You are safe, even if you can't see, have faith that you are being supported in mysterious and wonder wondrous ways. And things that are unseen will bring accordance with the highest good. So the spirit of the moonlight enchantment says, believe in magic, you are being given a power of mystical messages from spirit take time to listen allow luminescence receptive energy of the moon to activate your creativity and receive these mystical messages that you are a spiritual messenger for others so let's take a look at these three cards together because when we're talking about generosity we're talking about giving and giving to uh giving to yourself sometimes mostly giving to others be generous with what you have and always know that if you're giving something out, you're going to receive a tenfold back. This time of stability also says that we don't want to go crazy here. We're not going to just like dive into some uh, huge uh, Ponzi scheme scam or something. We're not going to go into that. We want to give to those who we know need it. We want to give to those who we feel are trustworthy. Uh, you can, you know, maybe you're picking out a good charity like St. Jude or others. Um, you might be looking at, you know, maybe a friend in need or perhaps a family member that's struggling at this time. These are people that need your help. You might want to go into helping them. but. Remember, you're going to listen to your intuition at this time because this Moonlight Enchanted Magic is all about looking for direction through spirit. So spirit's guiding you in ways that you don't always understand. You might run into a person at a supermarket that doesn't have the money to pay for her groceries and $5 extra might actually feed her children the, the extra pasta that she needed to get through the week. Just keep in mind that these things are guided to you for a reason so that you can grow from them and people that are in need can grow from them because when they're in need, they might be given those lessons to show that humility is okay, that you may not have everything right now. 
Maybe you're in that position right now. Maybe you're the one who's going to be receiving. But keep in mind that each time that we give to others, that is part of God's plan. That is part of the generosity of spirit. That's the part of generosity of the soul. I thank you all for coming today. Thanks for listening. And Willoughby is not here today. Of course, he's still up in Pennsylvania. But may, may I just say, for Willoughby's sake, his favorite card today is going to be the Maple Spirit for generosity. Remember, be kind to yourself and others and keep an open heart. Thank you all for listening and have a great day. Bye. Come on over here. Join us on Come all on our adventures here. with the Sheepdog and the Medium.